if I go ahead and add more values, for example, if I add the number 23 in here, notice how both of these cells get updated. But if I add a text value, notice how only the second one gets updated. Let me show you how to count the number of populated cells in Microsoft Excel. Now, what I want to do is achieve the same result that selecting all of our cells does. So as you can see, I selected everything in my range and now the count in here says 10. And if I try to do that and use the count function to count the same range, notice how I only get five, which is the number of cells that contain numbers in my spreadsheet. And let me show you another formula that you can use to count everything, including text. Now the formula, it's called count A actually, and it counts all of the cells that are not empty from our range. And so I'm going to select everything from my range. I'm going to hit enter and look at that, I get 10. Now, if I go ahead and add more values, for example, if I add the number 23 in here, notice how both of these cells get updated. But if I add a text value, notice how only the second one gets updated with count A. Now, this is how you count cells that are not empty in a range in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching the video. Hit like and see you in the next one.